Hey, Iraku. How's it going?
Okay, I think we'll go ahead and get this started. So let's switch on over. And let's trigger the new game plus. And yep, that's normal. Okay. So Rise and fall of gentlemen. So let's see. Taking us to Olda. All right. An old acquaintance of Wyman is at wit's end and a businessman would have you help her. Okay. I hear you've been busy as a bee, Aylet. Seems half the whispers what come my way relate to your comings and goings. Being the active type you are, I reckon you'd be interested in investigating some queer rumors, am I right? But before that, let me ask, ever heard of a man named Hildebrandt? Um, well, technically, I don't believe Aelet would have at this point in the story. To hear him tell it, he was Eorzea's greatest and most famous inspector. Still, can't say I'm surprised you don't know him. To his credit, Hildebrand, had, Hildebrand and his assistant had a knack for showing up when something shady was afoot. As for sussing out the culprits, well, he had his moments, though I hesitate to give him sole credit. Any road... Five years ago, he gets it in his head that he's cracked the code of Mosea's seventh verse, Dalama, the Calamity. All that can be stopped, he says, so long as he finds the hero of prophecy. And wouldn't you know it, the hero was Hildebrand himself. So he flies off toward Dalama. Aye, that's right, he flew. Launches himself straight into the air somehow, ridiculous as it sounds. Of course, it's only logical that he's got to come back down, but it was only recently we found his body. Hmm, I had reason for bringing this up. Ah, right. So, Nashu, Hildebrand's erstwhile assistant, has since become an inspector in her own right. At present, she's investigating the queer rumors I mentioned earlier. She's a sweet lass, a bit daft. Alright, sorry, one second. Computer's doing something a bit annoying. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. She's a sweet lass, a bit daft, but sweet nonetheless. So, when I hear she's at wit's end, I want to help. Thing is, I prefer to meddle in the affairs of the living. Zombies are, defi are most definitely not my forte. So, if you're willing, I'd be grateful if you lent her a hand. As for where to find her, she's like to visit Hildebrand's grave in the lichyard when she's frustrated. Try looking for her there first. Okay. So, off to Eastern Thailand. <sighs> Random sounds wherever I uh, teleport into. That's fun. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, if only you were still alive, Inspector. You'd know how to stop these zombies. Ah, you there. Could it be? You've come to offer your services to me? Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. Ahem, my name is Nashu, Agent of Inquiries. Extraordinary Inspector. 
At least that's what I'm trying to be. It's not quite as easy as he made it look. Inspector Hillerman was a great man, a real Eorzean hero. We traveled the world, me and him, solving cases and thwarting evil. No matter the mystery, you could always count on the inspector to solve it with grace and style. But then there was the final case. The case of the century, he called it. How to stop the Red Moon from destroying the world. To save us all, he flew into the sky, and all I could do was watch. Then he came back down, and he... He... Ah, uh, there we are. The Echo. This is all a joke. A big funny joke. Right, Inspector? Any moment now, you'll burst out of the ground and shout, Surprise! Had you fooled, eh? And we'll laugh and laugh. Build a Rand Manderville, beloved son. They say... They say no one remembers the Warriors of Light. Their names, their faces, all gone forever. But I remember you, Inspector. No, Gentleman Hero Hildebrand. I can never be the hero you were, but I'll do my best to try. All right, Nashu, Inspector Extraordinaire will carry on your legacy. Unfortunately, I don't know where he is or how to find him. But now that you're here, my faithful assistant, you can try the one good idea I've come up with so far. If you go to where these dapper zombies were last seen in southern Thanaland, you might find them. And then you could, um, ah, you could become their friend and ask to meet their leader. Yes, that's sure to work. Hmm. Oh, yes, we gotta wait for fate. I forgot about this. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's from Southern Thanalan. Let's head down here. Hopefully this won't take too long to show up.
go ahead and get some better music playing while we wait. was back where she was yeah now you get to see a little bit of uh, the thunder dancer there overall a low dps class but man it's big hits are big <laughs> uh, makes it fun <laughs> Did you find the zombies? You did? That's wonderful. I'm busy too. The head zombie will rue the day he meets me. You'll see. So tell me, what did you learn? Alright, let's hand over this curious parchment. Oh, so you weren't able to make new friends. That's a shame. But this parchment? This is a map of the Sigoli Desert. 
There's a spot marked here in the south, and look, there's something written here. A gentleman is, rather than does. That sort of reminds me of... Well, no matter. Let's see where this map takes this assistant. Onward to the Segoli. Alrighty then. That would be, of course, down in southern, southern Thanaland. Yes. Because that's what we call it, yes. Okay, what I'm calling it. I don't think I misread the map. Maybe they're just shy. Though, I say we call out to them and let them know we come in peace. And when the leader shows himself, we strike. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Why not? A gentleman is rather than does. But I don't think she knows. I don't think Aelite would have any idea what, what, yeah, the wild rose thing is yet. She is, after all, not a character that was ever part of a, part of 1.0. <laughs> er, uh, perg, perg, who summons the gentle dead men? <laughs> they live, they live, and we, we hunger. My brothers, lend me your ears. A gentleman does not dine upon his guests. Spare these two fair ladies your mastications. Withdraw, I say, and harass them no more. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. No, it's an airship. No, it's the inspector. We hear and we obey. <laughs> Graceful. It is you. It really is you. I knew nothing could kill the great Inspector Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Who is this Hildebrand of whom you speak? My name is Zamba Rand, Devourer of Brains, Undead Overlord Extraordinaire. What are you saying? You're not an Undead Overlord, you're a Gentleman Inspector. Erg, Herg, Inspector, Overlord, Inspector, Overlord. Oh, Inspector, you're just confused as all. Don't worry, I'll knock some sense back into that noggin of yours. Yes. Yes, this... This is the correct way to do that. Sure. Stay your hand, my lady. You know not what you do. Probably not. Even if I were the esteemed gentleman you purport me to be, the concussive force of the blast is more like to liquefy my... If crashing into the ground made you forget, then an explosion of equal force ought to make you remember. I'll save you, Inspector, or kill you trying. Okay, I guess that's impeccable logic. <laughs> See, even you acknowledge the possibility that this plan will result in my... Death. <laughs> I love that shoe. <laughs> hmm. 
Normally I would applaud your ingenuity, Nashu, but I would prefer that you find a more elegant solution. Ah, he remembers me. Inspector Hildebrand remembers me. Yes, yes, I remember you, my faithful assistant. What I do not re quite remember is how I came to be here. Don't worry, we're about to see. Nice getting up after a good nap, isn't it? Ah, such a wonderful team. I slew a dragon and... <laughs> hmm, what is this place? And for that matter, who am I? I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have awoken at last. What? Sniffles, snob. <laughs> I always knew you'd come back to us. Be it red moon or black dragon, no fiend is a match for my legendary might. And who might this fine lady be? Hmm, could she perhaps be one of my many admirers? Oh, but what is this faint tingling sensation in my arm? This ringing in my ears? This dizziness? Could it be a case? You sure it's not just blast trauma? Okay. A mild concussion will not sway Inspector Hildebrand from his true calling. Verily, it could be not else. Somewhere near, nearby, dastardly doings are afoot, and only I can thwart them. Copious quantities of sand, unbearable heat. Aha, the Sigali Desert. I bet my life on it. Which means old Oz was a short trek away. Yes, it all fits. Only in that den of iniquity could so violently trigger my keen investigator sense. Fear not, law-abiding citizens. Inspector Hildebrand shall soon deliver you from evil. Alright. So back to Ulda. The den of inequity. Iniquity. That too.
What? You're looking for a half-naked Highlander what likes to catch criminals? I think I'd remember a thing like that. If you do manage to find a suspected friend of yours, tell him to do something about that God's damn duelist. Me, mates, me, mates, paws, cousins, kids, best friend lost the blade the other day to that bastard. All right. Hey, Oxide. Welcome to the show. We just found the inspector. Hanging around with a group of zombies. Because reasons. Yes. <laughs> Beg your pardon, you wish to question me as to the whereabouts of that deviant running around town dressed in rags? Do I look like a reporter for the Mithril Eye? I do not consort with perverts. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Though, to be honest, I don't think he really is that kind of pervert. Okay, so... Probably in here is... That's a lot of work. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let's try walking through a chair. That sounds good. Hmm, sorry, lass, but if this information you want, you'd be best served by going to Wyman. The only rumors I've heard are those about the weapon thief. Calls himself a duelist, or so I hear. But when you don't allow your weapon opponents to refuse, well... Hmm. Yeah, that kind of doesn't sound exactly like a duelist. Alright. Yes, looks like there's some golden saucer related event going on right now. Okay. Hmm. I take it you dealt with that zombie problem? Eh? So, do tell. Just why were they dressing up like dandies? Wyman! Hey, Wyman! Ah, yes, Hildebrand and Nashu, our two stars of the show. The almighty bugger me with a bleeding spear. The dead, are, the dead have risen, and they're walking the streets of Ulda. No need for melodrama, my good man. As you can see, reports of my death were greatly exaggerated. It's true, he's not a zombie. I checked. Ah, I'm not going to ask for that involved. Hi, you do seem to be hale and healthy, which uh, begs the question, how in the seven hells did you survive that fall? Why well, question divine providence? What matters is that Eorzea's champion has returned, and that he, and by that I mean I, shall bring this thieving duelist to justice. Heard about that, did you? Might be harder than you think. Even I've got no inkling of that pharaoh's, fellow's current whereabouts. Inconceivable. I refuse to believe that the ever-inquisitive, ever-ambitious, ever-reliable Wyman is without a single shred of information, even one of dubious relevance. Hmm. Well, I make no promises, mind you, but there was some talk of a fair maiden what said her most. This knave assaulted a young woman as well? The audacity. I should fly to her side at... Why? <laughs> This is the lady from the single lady. <laughs> A serendipitous counter indeed. Unless you two seek the belligerent duelist? Capital! It will be invigorating to engage in a friendly battle of wits. Already the spirit of competition fills me. Come, Nashu, we must away. Ah, oh, damn it, Hildy. I ain't told you the lass's name yet. <laughs> we shouldn't question invest, invest, or, uh, yeah, Inspector Hildebrand's methods. Because there will be no explaining them. Uh, keeping that coin purse bulging, are we? They say the streets of Old Don are made of gold, but it's piles of gill what, what pave your way. Okay. 
There we go. Well, Ailet, you might as well go after him. He'll be disappointed if you don't. The lady in question is named Yellow Moon. She's a woman with a taste for the finer things of life. Safe to say you'll find her getting fitted for something in the Weaver's Guild most every, most every day. Good luck with uh, the inspector. With the inspecting, inspector. Mm. Starting to get a little tongue twisted. Okay, so Weaver's Guild. So let's find the nearest. Eighth right. Should be one. Around here, yep. There we go. There's the shard. On to the Weaver's Guild. One of the few crafting disciplines ALED is actually good at. My beloved pure heart was unlike any wand you've, uh, you've ever seen. Elegant, refined, the perfect accessory for any cultured woman. You'll bring it back to me, won't you? A priceless possession, callously ripped from the hands of its owner? The lady weeps, and the wind bears her sorrow to his ears. What gentleman could hear this clarion call and not beg the honor of championing her cause? What? What in the world? I swear to you, here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall scour all creation from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heaven for your pure heart. That's what he said. And, and you, my fellow servant of justice, I see your instincts are not to be underestimated, having guided you to this fair maiden's side. Now then, Miss Moon, what can you tell us of the theft? Theft, sir, to be precise. My pure heart was only the most recent item to be taken from me. I, uh, I, I'm certain I had it when I left home the other day. After I browsed the latest fashions at Sun Silk and took in a match at the Coliseum, I realized it was gone. So the time and location of the theft are unknown. Essential details without which we cannot solve the case. There's but one logical course of action, Miss Moon. To coax the hidden clues from your memories, we must reenact that fateful day's excursions. To sun sick to sun silk tapestries. <laughs> All right. Which, by the way, where is sun silk tapestries? Somewhere up here. Okay, let's go to the main Aetherite Plaza. Or I suppose Aetherite. Don't want to pronounce the A. And here we are. Miss Moon, would you be so kind as to describe your your visit in detail on the day in question? Nothing unusual happened, but if you insist, I was pondering whether or not to purchase a new dress when a man approached me and confessed his undying love. Nothing unusual, huh? Okay. What sort of man says that to a complete stranger, I ask you? Naturally, I was taken aback. I dropped my purse, in shock, not intentionally, on his foot, and he cried out in pain and fled. If I may be so bold, Miss Toon, that strikes me as the most unusual happening. In any case, it... <laughs> okay, now... <nah. laughs> in any case, it appears to be completely unrelated to the theft. Let us next proceed to the Coliseum and see what you remember. I think Nashu needs a nap. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Once again, Miss Moon, if you'd be so kind as to tell us what you remember. Well, like before, nothing unusual happened. I felt like gambling that day and was debating which match to observe when a gladiator <laughs> approached me from behind and confessed his undying love. Okay, so this does happen regularly to her. <laughs> Naturally, I was taken aback. I whirled about and struck the man in the face with my purse in shock, not intentionally. Unfortunately, since I was carrying a tremendous sum of money, my purse weighed about six, six score ponces, and the blow was enough to render him unconscious. 120 pounds? Miss, Miss Moon, you are a remarkably strong woman. Which is precisely why you were targeted. Oh, it's so obvious in hindsight. The thief bore you a grudge. Now it's more than that. He hated you with a passion. Hey, Carl. How's it going? Oh, uh, there sure are a lot of giant crates in Elda. At the Weaver's Guild, at Sun Silk Tapestries, and here too. All right. So let's talk to Nashu. Yes, Nashu. The real star of the Hildebrand stories. These crates are everywhere, Aylet. I wonder what's inside. But I don't see how we can open. Ah, of course. I still have plenty of explosives. Here, why don't you try? It'll be fun. Um. Yes. This, this seems appropriate. So, let's... Yeah. Let's let, not choose the light. Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> well, that opened them all right. <laughs> At the heart of every crime rests a single unassailable truth, reached only by navigating a web of falsehoods and contradictions. Hearken to me now, for as the shepherd leads his flock, I shall guide you to my irrefutable conclusion. A gladiator professes his feelings, only to be rejected and physically assaulted in response, wounding his pride as a warrior and man. Resenting her prowess while recognizing his weakness, he carries out a more feasible vengeance. He robs Le Yellow Moon of her weapon, the Pure Heart. Inspector, we found the Pure Heart. These strange men sneaking around town and wooden car crates at it. It's not what you think. We're not these. We're devotees. Yellow Moon is our sun and stars. We only wish to keep her safe from harm. And should she misplace an item from time to time, we'd collect it. For safekeeping, nothing untoward. You deviants from behind all the thefts? And all this time you've been stalking me? What? What nerve! Ah, such unbridled fury, such righteous indignation. We shall be we should be glad to accept the goddess's punishment. Goddess? Devotees? Ah, but of course. That I had you inspect those crates was a stroke of genius indeed. As I was eludicating but a moment ago. Those fiends are obviously the ones responsible for the recent rash of weapons thefts, as those thefts were carried out by a single individual, you imbecile. Hmm. Who's theft on the scene? Lest you've forgotten, the culprit is a duelist. He only claims his victim's weapons after defeating them in single combat. If your powers of observation are as great as you claim, you should have deduced that these buffoons and boxes were incapable of such. I should know. I'm a reporter for the Mithril Eye. My name is Ellie, and I've been investigating these incidents for weeks. Inspector Hildebrand, gentleman investigator and agent of inquiry, I presume? You're looking well for a dead man. Would you like to meet one of the duelist's victims? I'll introduce you, with pleasure. You'd be willing to share such precious information with me? Your generosity is commendable, Miss Ellie. May this mark the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship. Yes, yes, very good. The name of the man is... Huh? Where in the bloody hell do you think you're going? I haven't told you anything yet. I'm just thinking of pattern. Oh, 
All right, there she is. All right. I suppose since you're the imbecile's friend, you intend to help him. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. The man you want to find is an adventurer named Humphrey. At present, he can be found at the Golden Bazaar. With, good, with luck, the good inspector may find his way there by the time you arrive. If not, then so be it. <laughs> I wonder what will happen when he discovers that the victim is the perpetrator as well. Okay. Golden Bazaar, I believe, is outside of Olda. I don't remember exactly where. Ah, yes. There we go. So, time for a short fight on an adorable carbuckle. Okay. Hi, I'm Humphrey, and you are? <sighs> At last, I caught up with you. You there, youngster. I told you are a victim of the marauding duelist. Me? A victim? <laughs> How amusing. You amuse me. True, I was challenged by the duelist not long ago, but where he thought to find a whelp, he found a warrior of light instead. I, I defended my honor and my blade. See for yourself. You mean you won? That's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> well, it was nothing compared to what I faced at Cartnew. Magitech to the right of us, Magitech to the left of us. Stuck in the middle with Master Lu, we were core. He was a dab hand with the old magic he was. I was trying to try to save him, of course, but there's a limit to how many giant beasties a man can. That man is no warrior of light. <laughs> Tell them, Elazar. Tell them how he had, how he lost and surrendered a sword that was not his own. Liar, scoundrel! I trusted that bastard with my father's blade, bid him take it to a smithy for restoration. He even gave him Gil to pay for it. Then he comes crawling back, sniveling and begging forgiveness for losing it in a duel. As if that's enough to set things right. Look at me, you bleeding horse son. Look at me. Me flowing golden locks are no more. I've gone bold from bald from the stress and heartbreak. I swear to everything holy that you'll face a reckoning if you don't bring her back to me. All right, all right. He beat the shite out of me and took the old man's sword. I used the gill to pay the chai urgent. I have no idea where he or the sword is. And, yep, for uh, anyone who's not into Final Fantasy XIV lore, the chai urgents there is a, is a term, for, term for a healer. So, What am I supposed to do, huh? I can't give him what I don't have unless... Unless you help me find the sword, that's what you do, right? Help people? Have you no shame? First you claim a legacy not your own, then you beg others to help you with problems of your own making. You will refuse this man, won't you, Inspector? And what of Elazar's flowing gold locks? How well forsaking young, help, young Humphrey helped the man he has wronged? We shall begin our search for the sword by questioning the people of the Golden Bazaar. Alright. So they're right up here. Elazar's sword? Wasn't much to look at, but at least it was authentic. 
more than a few collectors. All right, thanks, Raku. Nice to know I'm back. I really, I really just like that when uh, Stream Land, when Stream Labs does that, it gives me absolutely no sign anything is wrong. And I have to kill it in Task Manager and restart it, so that's fun. But on with the Hildebrand stuff. At any rate, we're over here now looking for a sword, a facsimile of the sword that. We believe Elzar is missing. So, all right. It occurs to me I am not yet fully recovered from my accumulated injuries. It would not be prudent to immerse my body in water. Not without first coating it with a liberal application of salamander oil, that is. Indeed, on many, a, many an occasion, my dearest mother tended to my, child, tended my childhood scrapes just so. You understand the importance of physical rehabilitation, yes? Then you can assist me by pouring the oil all over my body. Oh, yes. This is this is exactly what Aolette wants to do. <sighs> exactly what she wants to do. Ah, this comforting scent. As though I am a child in her arms. Quickly now, before it dries, knead the oil into my aching flesh. <sighs> All right. <laughs> ah, the real God, the pain multiplies manifold. Gently now, gently. Good job, Aylet. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, right, gently, yes. Gently, yes, that's what we meant to do at first. Totally. <laughs> oh gods, oh gods, oh gods. Yes, at last. My muscles slacken and soften, the warmth spreads, and the pain becomes pleasure. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Sasha Hildebrand yet again. Uh, mm, it seems we have no choice. Right there, yes. Keep doing that. Just like that. Just like... Oh. Yes, now, once more, with feeling. <sighs> once more. <laughs> How slowly the virus moving now. <sighs> ah, never before have I received such splendid menstruations. Now then, into the spring. You as well, my good woman. Really? After all that, you're gonna make me... Okay, fine. Oh, 
Ooh, a holy pot. A pot that it otherwise cannot do what a pot nor what a pot should do. All right. You've been productive. Excellent. May I see what you found? Uh, worthless bottle, useless rock, and irrelevant pot shirt. Okay. Clearly our search was fruitful. No sign of the sword Joe John Claus mentioned, I see. Ah! Oh, no. Now I'm all wet. What was that, anyway? Hmm? Did something cause you to... <laughs> Once again, my instincts have guided us to our quarry. That I had you search that section of the spring was a stroke of... Of... Statue! Inspector, it's bad for your health to conduct investigations in those clothes. I'll go to Old Don and fetch you some new ones. How thoughtful of you, Nashu. While you're there, purchase a few bottles of hair tonic for Elzar as well. The newest, most potent blend you can find. Is it not wonderful, my friend? Soon all of Elzar's woe will be, woes will be no more. Oh, all right. Let's go grow back his golden locks. It is truly what we're um, destined to do. Remember, perfectly polite to ride in on your mount. As promised, I return to you your father's ancient blade. Aye, it is her. Every chip and scratch just is just as I remember. God's bless thee, sir. I never expected you to go to such lengths for two strangers without thought of reward. Altruism is a rare trait these days. Tis common enough if you know where to look. A gentleman recognizes the good in every soul and understands that none deserve to be forsaken. Spoken like a true gentleman, though your garments beg to differ. Inspector, I brought your change of clothing. I also brought a supply of tonic from this peddler I melt in Pearl Lane. Excellent work, Nashu. If you would just bring me that case. <laughs> Inspector? Inspector Hildebrand? There appears to be something lodged in my forehead. Could it be a missive for an adoring, adoring admirer? <laughs> hmm. The author neglected to pen her name. I shall come to claim the collector's blade. Is that supposed to be flattering? No, you. it's supposed to be intimidating. The duelist wrote this. He's daring you to stop him. <laughs> A challenge? 
for me? Oh, at last the curtain rises. Very well. If I'm a duel the duelist, I must dress for the occasion. Hildebrand, agent of inquiry. Inspector extraordinaire, I accept your challenge. He's, he's incredible. So bold, so majestic. Just like a warrior of light. No, a gentleman of light. <sighs> He is exceptionally something. Core Inspector Hildebrand, you look amazing. That's quite some hair tonic. Hildebrand. This is far from the strongest of swords. Blue, blue skies and the rolling desert. How much longer must I seek the blade of legend? The Immaculate Deception. Oh, boy. Challenge accepted, my worthy opponent. You shall not claim the blade. With my, let's call it what it is, genius, I shall bring you to justice. <laughs> Wait, you wish to duel with weapons, not wits? This bridge hardly seems appropriate for such an epic battle. Hey, I know that spear. That's the one I found buried with the pumpkins. Pumpkins sort of remind me of... Um, no, it's gone. Never mind. All right, so, and yes, just in case, just in case you were wondering, oh, uh, okay, I don't, don't actually remember the command, so let's see. Uh, special. There we go. Oh, it's just, okay. <laughs> uh, yes, you can get that emote. Because of course you can. Oh. I always have a bad habit of doing that, just randomly running somewhere. <laughs> okay. All right, the science of deduction. Per chance you were curious about the duelist declared target? It so happens I have identified the weapon in question. The treaty blade is part of an Ishgardian noble's collection, or was, I should say. 
No, it has not yet been stolen. It has been purchased by an old Don collector, the wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice to say, I would be remiss in my duties as a reporter were I to not investigate her. And should the duelist strike while I'm, whilst I am present, well, I hope I needn't explain what a golden opportunity that would be. Ingratiating myself to her may prove the greatest challenge, though. I told her she's a difficult woman to please. Fortunately, I'm also told she has a fondness for rare followers, the sort to Tuzzy in Camp Drybone cells. You can come along if you like. Why, yes, I would like. What do you want to mount? Not spread. You'd almost think I wasn't playing this game on the regular anymore. Oh. Here you are, miss. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, was it for love or money that you killed him? Well, no, that's a leading question. It, it was you? Have you gone mad? That was an Amalja arrow in his back. I don't even know how to shoot a bow. Amalja don't shoot fleeing unarmed merchants. They capture and temper them. Not that you or your victim make for convincing merchants. If you're going to misrepresent yourself, put some effort into it. Wear gloves, for God's sakes, or at least don't wave your hands in front of my face. The calluses on your fingers betray you as a veteran archer. Doubtless you used your skills to great effect five years ago, as did your partner. So, again, I ask, was it because he took, he took from you your share or your sister? You don't touch a man's kin. He knew that, and yet he... he Damn, I thought he did it for the money. You too, he's all yours. Y yes, yes, of course. Thank you for the help, Inspector. Hmm, at least he's competent. But when did investigating crimes become such a popular profession? It's not his job, you know. He just likes doing it. He belongs to one of Ishgar's high houses. Some say he's a baron. Not at all like that buffoon Hildebrand, don't you think? I try not to think about Hildebrand. A wise policy. We should get going. Lady Derilda will not take kindly to wilted flowers. <sighs> I'm sure we won't meet that other inspector guy at all. Alright. Let's see. It was Vesper Bay, I believe we were going. Yes, that's for Barry. The same route is please report or pray report to the waking sands. And in the early days, no, I did not get to fly there. None of us did. Oop. I believe we have passed her. Okay. Again, as I told the last 20 who came before, if you've come looking for work, you are too late. And even if I were in need of additional security, I would not deign to hire a common adventurer. Aww. He thinks we're a common adventurer. Now remove yourself from my sight before I have you removed.
but what if I give you a pretty flower? Ah, did you really think I could be so easily manipulated? Present the right gift, speak the magic words, and you would earn my respect? What's more, a flower's beauty is fleeting. I value beauty which transcends the boundaries of time. Everlasting, enduring, unchanging. Like mine. <laughs> oh. Now get out. Forgive us, Lady Derelda. We meant no disrespect. We were afraid you would not heed our warnings otherwise. A notorious violent thief is plotting to steal the treaty blade. You fools, I shall come to collect, claim the collector's blade, yes? I read the mithril I, I know full well of whom you speak, and it is none of your concern. I have a legion of guards at my disposal. Should he try, I will have him seized, or worse. And even if by some miracle he should succeed, he will not escape my wrath, for I have retained the services of a certain gentleman. Ah, but you may see for yourself. Like every piece in my collection, he has been chosen with the utmost care. Now look upon my peerless inspector, interlopers, and despair. Let us see. Ships that pass in the night. A signal showing in the darkness. The lady cries out for a guardian, and a gentleman must needs oblige. I swear to you, here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall neither slumber nor sleep until the fiend who covets the treaty blade is brought to justice. My lady, what brings you here? Are you come in pursuit of the duelist as well? Or perchance in pursuit of me? As if I would spend a single gill on an insufferable incompetent. To be fair, you are not spending a single gill on me. <laughs> the chance to investigate such an intriguing case is payment enough. Preemptive declarations of criminal intent are hardly in vogue. Sorry I'm late. Busy solving a murder. Bry Arden, Consulting Inspector. At your service, my lady. The competition has arrived. Conniving Inspector? <laughs> Consulting Inspector. Yes, Rotting Flesh and Saltpeter. Hildebrand, Manderville, and Nashumakaraka, I presume. Two rank amateurs playing at a profession of which they know not. Call me when you've finished, finished with these wastrels. You see? I do not want nor need your help. Briarden is more than capable of overseeing the transfer. Now get out, all of you. Where have you been, Maria? And where's my vase? There was a strange flying thing, and I... The vase. I dropped it in the water. I was so... That vase once belonged to the royal house of Thorn. Do you have any idea how much it was worth? You will go back outside right now and search for my vase, and you are not to return until you find it. Do I make myself clear? My lady, pray allow me to go in the girl's stead. It is not safe, for she herself spoke of a ferocious wild beast. With my unmatched investigative skills, I shall swiftly locate and recover the missing vase, thereby earning your respect, at which point you will gladly grant me permission to investigate the thieving duelist. Verily, it is a plan fiendishly clever in its intricacies. Not when spoken aloud. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Miss Maria, would you be so kind as to tell me exactly what happened? I picked up the vase and old Dalek mother said. But I was on my way home. I was crossing the bridge and then the flying thing came. I got scared so I ran. When I stopped it was gone. But so was the vase. I think I dropped it in Nofika's wells. I want to go and look, but there were scary looking things down there. I'm scared to go alone. You are no longer alone, Miss Maria. We shall go together and look for the vase. All five of us. <laughs> All four of you. I'm going after Inspector Briarden. If the duelist strikes, I mean to be there. But, Miss Ellie, how can you ignore the plight of a young girl for the sake of a story? Because that's my job, you imbecile. <laughs> well, we shall not be derelict in our duty to justice. Come, Nashu, we must away. You don't even know what the bloody vase looks like. Maria, dear, listen, if it gets dangerous, or if you feel afraid, you run to this adventurer for help, understand? <laughs> That's sweet. She has faith in us. Faith in Aelet. All right. We're... Oh, that's further than I thought. Not sure if we can fly over this. Okay, nope. Well, it's a higher ceiling than a lot of areas in the realm where you are. That girl what run by earlier? I I seen her. Had something in her hands, but dropped it while crossing the bridge. Didn't get a good look, but I reckon it don't matter any road. Whatever it was, it's long gone by now. A vase? Well, anything that falls in the water is like to be swept downstream fairly quickly. Does this have anything to do with that queer winged beast I saw earlier? No? Never mind then. Uh, pox upon that thief and deeming bird. He shall rue the day he crossed paths with me. Huh? A vase? I know not of what you... Gah! Curse this internal refuse underfoot. Every point is a danger. There's something in the water at the man's feet. Okay. Do I spy the treasured vase of Lady Derolda over... Oh. Oh, dear. Um, does this belong to you, child? Forgive me. I was so engrossed in my search that I did not notice. Your search for what, pray tell? The demon bird that absconded with my weapon. I set it down for but a moment only to see it 
next in the talent of so that accursed creature. I gave chase, and following it to these waters, and in my haste, I must have stepped on your vase. Don't fret, Maria. I know it looks bad, but I'm sure Inspector Hildebrand will think of something. <laughs> oh, but I already have my faithful assistant. Hearken to me now, for as the rising sun doth dispel the dark, so shall my solution resolve our dilemma. But first, we must gather as many fragments of the vase as we can find. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Picking up the pot shards. Picking up the pot shards. Okay. Come to present your findings, have you? Splendid. Let's have a look. Well done, my friend. This should be more than sufficient for our needs. He has performed miracles with far less, after all. A shattered antique vase will not deter Inspector Hildebrand from his mission. There is but one person of all in Aura's of all in all Eorzea capable of reconstructing this vase. A man whose skill with the hammer has brought rival goldsmiths low. So breathtaking are his works, so fearsome his competitive spirit. This man is no mere goldsmith. You speak of him as one w one would of a great warrior. Once a notorious ga gang of thieves perpetrated a series of robberies in Old Da, targeting establishments which sold luxury good. One such shop was owned by the humble lapidary of whom I speak. His was the last shop the speak thieves struck. For the following morning, they were found beaten, bound, and gagged in the gold court. The brass blades never learned who was responsible. The only information they had was the testimony of a thief, who kept muttering the words, The Hammer, The Hammer. He sounds dangerous. Aye, that he does. And I do so enjoy the company of dangerous men. Uh, but where are my manners? I have yet to properly do properly introduce myself. I am Gilgamesh, and that is my companion in Kindu. Well, not really. It has been many moons since I last saw her, and so to ease the burden of loneliness, I tamed a rooster and painted it green. In any case, in any case, you mean to search for this goldsmith, yes? If so, it would be my pleasure to help. The pleasure is all mine, Gilligan. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, bid you welcome. If it is that hard for you to remember, I give you call, give you leave to call me Gil. Excellent suggestion, Greg. Playful monikers are an effective means of building camaraderie. Call me Hildy. Now then, from what I know of the goldsmith's propensity to procure his materials himself, I have deduced that he is most like to be found in the building vicinity of... Blue Fog in Northern Thanaland. It is there that we shall begin our search. I swear now they're deliberately, try deliberately throwing tongue twisters at me. Okay. Oop. We need to teleport. Mounting won't help us. Okay, Thanaland. Okay. Let's see. Oh. oh, I think I'll start to lose my mind. 
Okay. All right, Nashu, what are you doing? The Doblin's wounds indicated indicate that it was filled with a hammer. A trail of bloody footprints leads to the north. I don't think it's been dead long. Maybe whoever did it was still around. Alrighty then. The basilisk wounds indicate it was felled with a hammer. A trail of bloody footprints leads to the north. A single blow to the head. Impressive. The Doblin, the Basilisk, this airman, all were slaying with a hammer, as was that beast over yonder, unless I am mistaken. That Chimera must be his latest prize, which means he must still be about. Mayhap he is watching us at this very moment, attempting to ascertain our intentions. He was ever a cautious man when on the hunt. Alas, it comes to this. Though every fiber of my being cries out in rebellion, I must break my oath and do you guys speak a while. <sighs> uh, sorry. <clears throat> what? What must you do that is so terrible? I must dance. I'm a mander, mander, manderful man. Doing o what only a manderful can. From the peaks of Corthus to Thandaland, Mander, Mander, Manderville, man. I, I cannot avert my eyes. <laughs> that is the dance of House Manderville, passed down from father to son. Were I to perform it within sight of our quarry, he would not be able to resist revealing himself. Alas, I, I neglected to properly stretch my legs beforehand. My good woman, I see no other solution. You must dance in my stead, though it may be, though it be a gross, nay, unconscionable violation of my family's traditions. I must bequeath to you the Manderville. Well, you know, if he's gonna bequeath a dance, might as well be to a dancer. Okay. Oh, the time has come for you to do what only a Manderville can. We are siblings now, my constant comrade, for I have shared with you the secrets of House Manderville. Now you must use that knowledge. Go over to the Fallen Chimera and dance like only a Manderville can. <sighs> All right. Let's do this dignified dance. Uh, okay, oh, just to burst the leg. <laughs> yeah, it's going all right so far. But we had a hiccup with the stream again. I had to restart Streamlabs. But now we are about to dance. A truly dignified dance. Look at that grace, that elegance. Fancy yourself a Manorville man? You would do it only a Manorville can? To lift your legs and put up your hands? Be a Mander, Mander, Manderville man. He comes.
Ho, ho, ho. You have not to fear for me. Not at all. The only accounts I came to settle were with the Chimera. But you were not drawn here by some coincidence, were you? No, you came in search of me, Godbert. Why else would you gyrate your hips to such a gentlemanly fashion? If not that... Wait. I know you. She of strong yet tender fingers. But more importantly, how in the hells did you learn the matter, Billy? I, if I did not teach you, then who? By the grace of Thaw, what sorcery is this? He he yet lives? The Rand Heliodor. Um. <laughs> Ten years, Elder Brand. Ten years since you left home. And five since I learned of your trip to Dalamud. How long were you planning to allow your mother and father to suffer under the illusion that their beloved son was dead? Son? You were Hildy's father? God rips the goldsmiths of Ganderville Man. Smithing is only a Manderville can. Oil him up and give him a tan. Fit for a Mander Manderville Man. A fascinating family. Please, Father, cease your undulations at once. There are more pressing matters at hand. This antique vase must be made whole once more for the sake of Miss Maria. Ah, do not worry, little one. I deal with worst cases before my morning bowel movement. Thanks. Thanks for that information. <laughs> Hold your applause until the end. Bye, Rigat. Guide my hammer. Look at how it sparkles in the twilight, how it radiates elegance. Would you all not agree that it's a work of art? You've completely destroyed a priceless antique's historical value. Nonsense. I'm taking a dull, unremarkable vase and transformed it into something far superior. I hope you were paying attention, Hildy. How long has it been since you last held a hammer? Father, I... That is not my path. I am an agent of inquiry, an inspector. It is my duty to help those in need. Miss Maria is one such person. There are others, too, innocent people whose weapons were callously ripped from their hands by a thieving duelist. I thought you had put away childish dreams. No matter, you will understand in due time. No, I will not. I am an inspector, Father. I can be not else. 
Um, Mr. Godbert, sir, I don't think my mother's gonna like what you did. She probably won't let Master Hildebrand help on the investigation. We cannot say that for certain, can we? Mayhap she will take a liking to this reimagining. You spoke of a thieving duelist, did you not? It so happens I have something of a duelist myself. Were we to cross paths with this fellow, I would welcome the opportunity to put my skills against his. A kindu as well, I should think. I see you too possess a strong sense of justice. Full glad am I to have met you. Greg. <laughs> okay, yeah, Greg. Now, let us return to Vesper Bay and see how our base is received. Vesper Bay, you say? What a coincidence. I shall be traveling there on business once I have finished gathering materials. Oh, I think I may have seen the demon bird which took my weapon. Go on without me. I shall follow anon. for Bay, so that's that be Western Thailand. All right. The well traveled road. I hope she likes it. <laughs> Mother, I brought you the vase. By the gods, have you all no shame? How dare you make my daughter complicit in your chicanery? I know not where you found this gaudy trash, but it bears no resemblance whatsoever to the vase I purchased. Now see here, Lady Drilla. Not only did you send Maria to fetch your priceless vase alone, placing her in considerable danger should bandits or wild beasts attack, which they did, but... Gaudy trash? Lord Mandeville, sir, I did not realize you had arrived. Though I know it is nothing compared to the lavish accommodations and esteemed gentlemen such as yourself must enjoy, I pray my humble abode meets with your satisfaction. Oh, it does, my lady. It does indeed. Especially that exquisite vase over yonder. Although I gather from your previous comments you do not like my reconstruction. Your reconstruction? Oh, I don't like it. I love it. I would go so far as to call it, call it the new centerpiece of my Thorn Dynasty collection. Oh, what a relief. I would have been most distressed if you said otherwise. We Mandervilles do, take, do so take pride in our work and ever strive for professional perfection. Oh, but why am I repeating what my son Hildebrand doubtlessly told you when he offered to investigate the duelist threats? Enough expository banter, I say. I cannot recall if your son used those precise words, but I do remember thinking that his help would be most welcome. You will be helping us, Inspector Hildebrand, will you not? Wait a minute. Your father is Lord Godbert Manderville, the man who took... Uh, Aelone's Quiverton's seat on the Syndicate? And it appears there may have been a great many developments over the past ten years of which I was completely unaware. In any case, we must redirect our energies toward the investigation of the thieving duelist. Our first order of business will be to review all the facts with consenting Inspector Bryden. Okay.
Why are you still here? Allow me to eludicate. Lady Dura uh, Darilda has asked us that we asked that we assist with the investigation. Now kindly share with us all your information. Fine. Our plans have advanced to a stage that even you couldn't ruin them anyway. Uh, I don't know. You may be underestimating him there. I commissioned several replicas of the Treaty Blade through a merchant named Jojanpa who traffics in counterfeit antiques. These blades have been delivered to the Observatorium where they are being distributed among Lady Geraldo's sellswords. Once I give the order, they will transport them via alternate routes to Vesper Bay. Oh, I think I get it. You're hiding the real transport with a bunch of decoys, right? They're all decoys. The moment the thief strikes, all our forces will converge on his location, including those disguised as small folk along each route. The real Treaty Blade will remain in the original owner's vault until the thief has been apprehended. Everything has been accounted for. You are support for us. Mayhap we could use more small folk to watch the roads in and out of the observatorium, assuming you have the capacity to conduct yourself in an unassuming fashion. Mm -hmm. Fear not, my fellow inspector, for I am a master of disguise. Have you any information regarding the duelist himself? A description? You never thought to ask Humphrey, did you? The thief is said to be a towering brute dressed in red who wields a halberd. <laughs> a man so garishly dressed should be easy to find in snowy Carthus. Then I suppose we don't need your help after all, do we? Come or don't. I couldn't care less. Me seeing you. <laughs> Pray forgive my lateness. Greg, my good man. What a pleasure to see you again. We just received new information regarding the weapon thief. A victim described him as a pale beard wielding brute dressed in dressed in a ridiculous outfit. A ridiculous outfit. Oh, now I am intrigued. What reasons would a warrior have for wearing impractical clothing? Ha <laughs> ha, what reasons indeed. It's enough to make a gentleman laugh. I think they're hinting at something there. <laughs> All right, Inspector Hildebrand would have you accompany him to court with us. Allow me to summarize our current plan of action. Our destination is the observatorium and our mission to pose as goodly small folk in accordance with Inspector Briarden's instructions. Naturally, so the situation demand improvisation, we are to disregard those instructions. Any questions? No? Then let us sally forth at once. <sighs> then through the Central Highlands. Oh, okay, <laughs> there we go. I guess Kirby just didn't want to load for a moment. Hail to the fellow servant of justice. I take it you are one of the many tasked with transporting a counterfeit treaty blade? 
Clearly you've mistaken me for someone else, sir. Eddie, Sergeant, they're with us. More small folk. Keep an eye on them, or else. But, sir, I... Bugger me. Hello, kitty. <sighs> Don't you bloody move until I get back. <laughs> I say, is this land always so inhospitable? The biting winds, the endless snows? Mayhap keeping active will help me to stay warm. Oh, and should I chance to find the thieving duelist, I will of course summon you. After administering the requisite, requ eh, requisite beating. Ha ha. I would think you'd be warm in those clothes. Good, you're still... Hmm. Wasn't there someone else with you a moment ago? Ah, you speak of Greg. He ventured outside the gate mere moments before your arrival, full eager to catch the thief. As are we. Come, Nashu. We too must answer the call of duty. You look like you might actually be useful. Why don't you have a word with my man near the east gates? We're undermanned over there. Ah. <sighs> I'm glad to see that our feelings of adequacy are not delusions. You see that just now? No? Hmm. I don't think my eyes are playing tricks on me, but there's only one way to be sure. You wait here. Inspector, over there, look. What is it, Nashu? Pray tell me what you see. Aha! I see you, demon bird. You will not escape me this time. Why, hello there, my friends. Is Auto miss? Oh, it's just Greg. For a moment I thought you might have spotted our thief. Come, Nashu, we've lingered here over long. We must egress post haste. Okay. Let's see. All right. Sorry, I have to remove a cat from the desk. Good kitty. Yeah, good kitty. All right. Hmm, there's not out of the ordinary here either. No luck, hmm? We have scoured every ilm of this area to no avail. I can only conclude that, having learned that his opponent was to be legendary Inspector Hildebrand, the duelist, <laughs> the duelist renounced his criminal ways and retreated into hiding. Or perhaps he is waiting patiently outside the walls for more wagons to leave. That being said, should you decide to venture into the wilderness, you'd best arm yourself with more than your wits. I appreciate your concern, Miss Ellie, but a gentleman should abstain from violence unless absolutely necessary. I'll fight for you, Inspector. I even found a weapon to use. By the twelve, is that the same so self-same sphere which propelled me to the red moon? Wherever did you find it? It was buried in the snow. Well, one cannot ignore the will of destiny. Return it to me, Nashu. Though I will still endeavor to avoid fisticuffs, I will be duly armed should the worst come to worst. Now then, we begin our search for the duelist to the east of the observatorium.
Wherefore art thou, my nefarious nemesis? T'was not the self same creature, but one of many. Nevertheless, I know that my weapon is close by. You sense it too, don't you? Greg, I didn't mean to ask. Why do you covet this weapon so? If you but beheld it, you would understand. In some ways, it bore resemblance to a spear, but in other respects, it was quite different. It was crowned with a magnificent axe blade, to which was welded a musket barrel. It was one of the first weapons I added to my collection after arriving in these lands. Ah, how I yearn to reclaim it. The strongest of spears. That weapon of yours bears a striking resemblance, a striking resemblance to, to the strongest of spears. I claimed this weapon five years ago. Surely you can't be serious. Grr, now you call me Shirley? No matter. Give it to me. Give it to me. This spear and I have traveled together to the very heavens. I will not relinquish it again. This spear and I have bested many a man together. I will not relinquish it again. Then we are at an impasse. I can't believe I can't believe I'm saying this, but well done, Inspector. Thanks to you, we've caught the weapon thief in the act. Miss Ellie, you're grossly misreading our dispute. Greg is a good, honest man who I'm certain has never stolen a weapon in his life. Indeed, I have not. Every weapon I claimed was my right's mine. Each was a trophy for besting my opponent in a single combat. <laughs> I believe that constitutes a confession. Seize him. <laughs> a confession of what? I have done not wrong. Bah! You were all beyond reason. Ah, yes, my plan to secure Greg's confession was utterly flawless, and his capture will be the coup de grace. Uh, well, my plan is thus far flawless. Griffin Crossing is still impassable. I know who you are, even if that imbecile doesn't, so let's not miss words. Only you have the skill to face a duelist in battle. Even so, your strength alone will likely not suffice. I suggest you muster what allies you can. Alright. 
Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be doing Battle on the Big Bridge tonight because uh, I have a very demanding kitty next to me. She is making sure that I cannot use both of my hands right now. <laughs> She's ensuring that one hand must attend to her. Nashu, Miss Ellie, ah, my good woman, it is a relief to hear your footfalls. As you have doubtless deduced, I was unable to prevent Greg from escaping through the doors. I must leave the rest to you. Yes, it was I behind these doors the whole time. You took so long to arrive, I was getting worried you might have gotten lost. Long did I wonder what your role in this play was. A silent guardian, content to watch fence unfold with minimal interaction? At the last, I understand. We were fated to duel, you and I. Confess me and you may have the spear. Fail and your weapons are forfeit. Fair terms, do you not think? I will even extend them to your allies. I, I grant you leave to summon others. After all, it will avail you no advantage. <laughs> For Gilgamesh, it is embiggening time. week that's what we have to look forward to probably the silliest duty in all of Final Fantasy 14 though that might actually come to a later one we will do it's kind of a top contender yeah so at any rate guys uh, thanks for coming um, next week I might go ahead and start at more of the usual time around 10 Eastern instead of 9. We'll see how it goes. So I'm thinking uh, we'll go ahead and continue this on Monday and probably Tuesday. And then uh, the Celestum um, Dust will resume on Wednesday. That's the current plan. So uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Now let me go find someone to raid. I wonder if our. Uh, Slime Rancher is still at it. It appears so. Alright, things are being just a little bit slow here. started. All right. See you guys next time.